Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien. My name is Janice Dykes. This is Coombe Road Primary School and I'm the Deputy Head Teacher and Primary Languages Coordinator. Today I'm going to be teaching Year 5. Um, they have been learning French since Year 2. The object of the lesson today is to do some, ultimately, to do some writing in French. Uh, the route through that is through learning a story. Today what we're going to be doing is learning out how to write a story in French. We're going to use the Bitica story as a basis for our story and then you're going to write your own story and you can take your own story home at the end of the day. Now, the great lesson idea is learning the text, learning to remember the text, being able to recite a piece of French text but you've learned it from putting actions in. So you remember when you're talking about a lima that you do an action like this perhaps, or très très petite. So you can, you can emphasise it with the, with the action. And then as a group, you can support each other to learn the text completely. And that gives you a good framework for then going on to your own writing. We're using a text called Bitica, the Mouse Lima, which has been written by a friend of our school, Alison Jolly who's a regular visitor to Madagascar. As she's also a French speaker and the official language of Madagascar is French, it was a good link for us to make a simple version of the book with her help, which we're using now. We have been working on this text for some time. So they, they have seen the story, they've seen it written, and um, they've heard it before, because it's part of a larger project on Madagascar that we've been doing. L'histoire de Bitica, le micro -sep. Elle est petite, très, très petite. C'est le plus petit le murien de Madagascar. So I'll, I'll tell them the story, waving the pictures of the lemurs at them as I go. Then they are going to have a paragraph from the story for five or six children to work on together. And they are going to learn it off by heart, using their own gestures, or they might use the ones I've used with them before. Then we'll come back together and we'll perform that in five parts. Il voit sa mère de Bitica. Il attaque. Bitica crie Maman. Il libou son vol. Maman se souvient. Then we're going to look at the, the text, an even simpler text of the text, if you like, where there are blanks in which we need to then put our own animals to make it a different story. So instead of a lima, it could be a mouse or it could be a hedgehog. Bob, ce sont petits, très, très petits. Bob, voit un, what else would you like? A gorilla. Un gorille. That we'll do together and we'll read it out together. And then in talk partners, they're going to sit with a scaffolded version of the text to fill their own blanks in. And what would happen it won't happen in this lesson, but in another lesson, they would actually write that out. So they've actually written a whole story in French and illustrate it, maybe make it into a book. Right, now, sound is the boy word, so we'll have il. The children that I hope will respond and will show you that they love doing active things. They also like creating a story in French. The fact that they can go home tonight and say, you know what I did today, Mum? I wrote a story in French. And their parents will be very impressed with that, as so will I. At the end of the lesson, they'll be more confident in speaking and writing in French and reading too, because they're having to read that text in order to recite it. And they'll be They'll have enjoyed what they're doing. They'll be, pos again, a more positive experience in, the, in their learning and ready to move on to the next thing. <laughs>